and 28 feet long, roughly 5,000 pounds dry, but could sleep five people comfortably. You're looking at conventional, lightweight and feature packed. If you've been looking to upgrade from the tent into something a little bit nicer, you're gonna love the Keystone Bullet Crossfire 2430BH. What's up? It's Chris Young hanging out in the 2021 Keystone Bullet Crossfire uh, 2430BH. Uh, the bullets were made to be those conventional, lightweight, feature-packed, but not break the bank fiberglass RVs for those folks who like to tent camp but really want to extend the season and have a tent camper with a, well, not a tent camper, but have a tent with a bathroom, a kitchen, and some amenities. So it's not really a tent, is it? It's a freaking RV, which is why you're here and I'm here. And this one has double over double bunks in the rear campsite over here. You're going to notice 300 pound capacity on both windows, cubby space, and USB charging on both bunks. The Teddy Bear Style Series mattress, three inches thick, plush and comfortable. I always say get the topper if you can anyway. Those little foam toppers just makes life a whole lot better. But what's cool about this, let's say you're an avid biker or you just need some more storage space. This is great. This locks up uh, and you can use it for additional storage. Uh, just gives you the option of having that there. You got the flagstone decor is what we're in on this one. So you're going to notice a lot of light on dark accents. You got the wood door separating the bathroom from the rest. We're the rear off camp side here. You got the gray sink, plastic bowl with the foot flush. Uh, I guess I got some storage down here by my calves, um, which is, I got to tell you, it's kind of weird. Uh, I was expecting it to be up here, but hey, if you need your soaps or whatever, that's a good place to put it. Uh, shaker style cabinets all the way around on this one. There's a spot for your pipe access, but also for a trash can. Brush nickel fixtures all the way around too. Plus you got a GFCI outlet there, mirrored medicine cabinet here. Uh, no raised lips, which I like to see, but you got hideaway hinges. Keystone is known for really good, strong construction. They're some of the best in the industry. And with the crossfires, this is kind of like the entry level that's better than entry level. If that makes sense. You got the vent and the fan right here. You know, just got the little switch right there, a little fan that kind of pulls the hot air out for you. Got the single surround shub, uh, tub and shower combo right here. Good spot if you have the kids or the dogs, you need to get them cleaned off, you can right there. A um, little bit tight on the ceilings. I'm six foot two, but I'm not cramped left or right thanks to the surround. Plus I got the corner notches for my soaps, my shampoos, and I got the shower nozzle right here, the shower curtain there that's decorative and follows the flow and theme of this flagstone decor. Now you'll notice they have a new flooring for 2021. It's called Hyperdeck. It's a polypropylene laminated fiberglass, which just means you got additional moisture barrier on the floor. It also helps a little bit with the insulation. You got foam core all the way around as well. Plus you got that aluminum frame in this one. Uh, really strong, really durable, but also can extend that three season camping for you. Dometic fridge freezer combo right here that runs up with gas and electric, seven cubic feet. Does have the automatic switch, which is nice to have. Moving to the campsite kitchen, you got the L shape here with the molded cornered pressed surface countertops. High rise faucet, would have liked to seen a sprayer nozzle, but take a look at my farmhouse style sink down there. Undermounted, I got the cutting board the doubles is the cover right there. Large window with the decorative valance, mushroom light. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover right here. Sorry about that, Bobby. And the grill style grate to help move things around easily. I'm a fan of that. Got the little LED accent light on the controls. 16 inch Furion oven right there. Good for doing some bacon if you want it. Got my LP02 detector there. And you'll notice, and yeah, my Furion hood. I like how everything matches. Furion, Furion, Furion. I like this. I got the hood, the flush mounted Furion microwave. And the shaker style cabinets. This flagstone decor is actually really nice. Uh, solid wood construction there. You got the hideaway hinges, like I mentioned in the bathroom. Good storage space. I mean, this is a small family camper that really, if you just need a place to rest your head, you know, you need some good space. You want some amenities like 13.5 BTU AC, 30,000 BTU furnace. Uh, the ducting is tough locked. So you got those durable joint 
those molded plastic joints to help keep the ducting from collapsing and giving you soft spots in the floor. You got solid wood construction here on the slide. Now this is the only slide in the 2430 and it is a U-shaped dinette. You got the plush, comfortable corner molds right here. This does reduce down into a sleeper, but large panoramic windows, dual USB charging, good cross flow of light, great cross flow of breeze right here if you open this up and the one on the kitchen. But this is where you do the reconnecting. This is where when you get finished hiking, you get finished biking, hunting, fishing, whatever you're doing out there with the family or the loved ones, come back, enjoy those camp cook meals, reconnect, and you're realizing that you're making memories that are gonna last for a lifetime. That's what's great about RVing. Plus you got storage underneath here as well, some additional storage if you need it. And the big old pantry door right here. Come over to the front and I have my entertainment center right here. Uh, I got my GE controls for my HVAC, very nice little upgraded feature for this year, I like that. I got my Keystone main control panel so I can check my battery, my fresh, my black, my gray tanks. I'll tell you about that once we get outside. Cut on my water heater, which is either gas or electric, plus you have the bypass on this one, six gallon DSI. Got the water pump, your lights, the slide, and the awning. Some more storage here under my entertainment center. I like the cabinets. The, this color, this flagstone, is very nice. It's like a off ivory, almost. It has like a little bluish gray tint to it. I like it. Mushroom lights there. Double access point to the master where you have the queen size bed with that high density foam mattress. Double doors separating the space there too. Plus you got a little storage compartment there. But what's cool is with this one only being 23 feet, eight inches, they really maximize the storage space that you get. For example, if you notice, Bobby, there's cubby storage on both sides, plus power, USB, and you got the ward storage, the pull-out drawer, and the storage lip right here. And if you want to put a TV, you got the connections right over there on the off-camp side, 110 and your cable. I'm not a fan of that, but you can't really put it here because of the doors. I just don't like turning and looking at the TV. And then over here, laundry chute, which is accessible through the pass-through. Solidly built, good space. Even got myself a little storage door right here. And just ready for you to upgrade from that tent or upgrade from that entry level, uh, maybe aluminum, or excuse me, the, uh, the sided, yeah, the... Uh, Aluminum sided RVs, these, these, these are nice. The, the Bullet Crossfires, conventional, lightweight, feature packed. If you're like, Chris, we just need something with a little bit of features. We're just gonna sleep, get cleaned up, cook every now and then, and just we need to enjoy wherever we go. Gotta tell you, these Bullet Crossfires are great. We've seen the inside. So what do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside, the 2021 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 2430BH. Great little entry level bunk model. You'll notice we got that super flex roof, seamless, diamond plated rock guard on the bottom. Plus you got that Norco steel frame, automotive deposition coating on this one too. One piece, solid and sturdy, and it is huck bolted as opposed to just regular bolted. So you got that little extra anchor. Twin 20 pound LP tanks there, powered tongue jack up front. You got the enclosed underbelly on this one, plus the power PS1's stabilizer jacks. I like that. The other thing for 2021, what they've done is they've extended the storage space. So you get a little bit wider space. It's still kind of narrow going up and down, but it is finished off. It looks good and it's good room for those bags, those towels, those beach chairs, whatever you need. You got the magnetic anti-slam doors with the covered hinges. So you're not exposed to the elements there. If you get rain and, and whatnot, it won't see those rush streaks. Beautiful. A graphics here on the fiberglass, sealed safety glass all the way around as well. Fold up stairs with the extra large grab handle leading into the main entry point with the friction hinge door right here. Large awning with the LED light strip. Plus you got your external speakers. There are my 14 inch wheels on those Dexter Easy Lube axles. A little extra wide space right there in the suspension too on this double axle, which will help with that rocking going back and forth. Got a power connection here, so if you need to charge your phone, whatever you, you can. Prep space for the outside kitchen, which does slide away. Plus you got the hot point mini fridge right there. And I believe the, oh, the LP access is on the rear. Okay, I knew we had it, I just didn't. They mounted it back here on the rear. So nice, nice touch. 
You got the spray port there. Spare tire mounted on the back. Sewer hose storage is actually inside the frame as you see the porthole for it there. Cable connection is right here. You got the arched roof with those three inch rubber nozzles giving you some, you know, when the water and the rain, the snow, all that stuff falls down, that'll make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slides. You probably need to get a backup camera on that one. That's the one thing that's missing from these bullets. You know, once again, it's conventional. This is a, if you want to upgrade from the tent camper and, you know, really get your thing going. Main terminations are right there underneath. And you're looking at a 43 gallon fresh tank, 30 gallon gray and 30 gallon black. So pretty good space if you want to go off the grid for the weekend. Um, if I'm going for the weekend, I like to have the 60 gallons, but 43 gallons, still a whole lot of water. External shower with hot and cold black tank flush right there. 30 amp plug right here. Do like that and of course those true fit slides which keystone is, is kind of a calling card for keystone how they make their slides it just means they, they make these to truly fit the space that they're in to really minimize the components of moving the slide in and out when you minimize components you minimize stuff that can break right right just one of those things they're trying to help keep you rving for time to come and not servicing for all the time fresh water connection and city water connection there and of course my power stabilizer jacks operation controls, any other side of my pass-through storage right here. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel. As you can see, this one, unloaded vehicle weight, 5,000 pounds, gross vehicle weight, 6,500 pounds. Ah, <sighs> Chris, can I get that with my SUV? You know, that's why I always say, take that information back to your specialist at Camping World in Gander and tell them, hey, look, here, here's my vehicle. Here's what it says it can tow. Can you check it out for me? Because we check it out, it's free, it's fast, and it's easy. And plus, what are you gonna tow with? How many people do you need to sleep? And where are you gonna camp? You bring that information with you. That's what's gonna help us guide you down the path of finding the RV that's right for you. But at 23 feet, eight inches long, can sleep five to six comfortably. You're looking to upgrade from tent camping? I gotta tell you, man, it's 2430BH Keystone Bullet Crossfire should be at the top of your list, especially if you're looking to kind of dip your toe into the RV waters. But leave me some comments down below. Let me know what'd you like, what'd you not like, because we love hearing from you. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video out here in the blazing sun, you're the first one to get it. Now, I'm gonna go cover up my bald spot because I feel it cooking an egg back there. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm Chris Young, Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. I'll see you soon. Until then, please come check out an RV because they're awesome. I'll see you.